In June of 2021, we left our comfortable home in the suburbs and moved our family of four into a yurt and camper trailer so we could build our future home. Our cabin kit home was delivered and we instantly got to work. We're amateur builders and we're learning as we go, but we've tackled every challenge that has come our way, from setting the sill plate, laying the floor joists, to bigger and scarier projects like setting our column and ridge beam. Every roadblock, every challenge feels scary and hard in the moment, but the reward we receive from knowing that we have done this ourselves feels like an amazing accomplishment and a story we can share for generations to come. The race to drying in our home is almost complete. We have pushed ourselves to our limits and worked harder than we ever have before in this past month to prepare for the roofing part of this build. We have a lot to do still. It has been so important to us that we do as much of this project on our own, but when it came to our 12 by 12 pitch roof, we knew we needed help and I was gonna be so freaked out. Stress is unavoidable as we work nonstop long days on this part of the build. No matter what happens, it's all gonna be okay. But we stay focused on the goal of our family finally moving into our self-built cabin in the woods. I'm really excited to see it come together. Follow along as the roof goes on our home. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. Okay, it has been a whirlwind of a week longer than a week actually, but it is Friday and we have the roof rafters on. Our roofers are coming this evening. It's two guys that were recommended to us by a friend, um, came with great recommendations. So we're pretty excited about this because we're actually gonna get to work with them as they're doing their thing and help out and be part of the process, which is really important for me and Ryan because we really wanted to self-build this whole house. But when it came to roofing, we knew it was gonna take us so long and I was gonna be so freaked out because I get really uneasy when we're up on just joists for like the loft. So I can't even imagine the roof rafters and trying to put plywood there. But anyway, enough on that. Roof rafters are up. We still have a few things we have to get done before the roofers are able to start the plywood on the roof tomorrow. So we have to get the front of the house totally framed in and these two log walls done that go around the front of the house. There's one behind me that is so hard to see because the man lived, but you can kind of see this one here. It has to go up like a peak and match up. And then we have to get the second half of the front of the house framed. Ryan finished about half of it yesterday so I'm going to be on log wall duty. Ryan is on framing duty. And then after that, we do have a little bit of gable trim we have to put at the back of the house. So we have a lot to do. And it's early in the morning right now. I'm feeling awesome. Ryan is feeling run down and tired from this week. I felt like that yesterday. <laughs> so luckily, we've both been like flip flopping who feels good and who feels like, oh my gosh, this is way overwhelming. But um, one way I've been looking at it too, like is even if the, our roofers come and we don't have everything ready, they're going to get more done for us than we could get done on our own. So no matter what happens, it's, no matter what happens, it's all going to be okay. <laughs> and I have to keep reminding myself of that because the moment we bring other people into the equation, it is so helpful but it's also stressful. I'm gonna get to work. I get to get up in the man lift, which is so super fun. I loved it yesterday and work on that log wall and we'll take you guys along. could be up there with not lifting but just making sure it stays on the edge of the fork uh -huh. and we could just pivot at that point so I can get this over onto there. Okay. We're actually going to scoot it this way. Okay. So it, 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 it'll come because we're going to try to angle it basically so that we can get this to rest on this. Okay. And then and then we can come over, and then I can come over there and then we'll pivot it on this corner up here and rotate it in. All right. Well, you're going to be off of your fork. Okay, we have to go back for it, do just a little. I can't pull it. Okay. See that Is handle? That... Yeah. So I need very slowly, I want you to rotate it towards you. Keep going. Do you want to 
an awesome Owen. Okay. Stop. Yeah, we're aiming to set it here. Okay. And then, and in the middle. Problem. Like clamps are like an elevated duct tape. <laughs> duct tape is what like homeowners use, and clamps are what home builders use. So I've been working on getting the second part of the prow front put up and the last log wall. We needed to get some flashing for our stove and I completely forgot about that. So we need to have that for the roofers so they can uh, put that in as they're doing the roof. Otherwise I'll have to cut that out later and it's going to be more work. I'm going to have to get on the roof and I don't want to have to do that. So Sarah ran to Home Depot. Uh, to get some nails some other supplies and then we went to a fireplace store to get that flashing that we needed um, We just heard from our roofer friends and they are running a little bit behind So they'll be here at about nine o'clock tonight, which is actually okay because we have a lot to do still we have the fascia boards that we need to still put up and the gable trim uh, and Honestly, we're the gable trim. Uh, we're just we're, we'll need to get up uh, probably tomorrow morning when we have some help um, The fascia boards I would love to get to tonight and the prowl front would be amazing if I could get finished Because um, really we want to utilize the skill and expertise of our of our, our roofer friends um, while they're here to do things that we don't know how to do and not uh, not do not finish up the things that we do so we're continuing to go. Sarah should be back. She's gonna pick up some dinner on the way home and I'm gonna keep at it so we're ready when the roofing guys get here. Good morning, guys. Today is the day. <laughs> <laughs> There's Sarah. Um, we have our helpers here, Kevin and Ruben. They're getting their supplies and their tools, and they're here to help us with the roof because we got a steep 12-12 pitch yeah. on our roof, and that's not something we we feel comfortable getting through just about everything on this build. Dealing with 12-12 pitches, not my jam. I haven't felt comfortable getting through <laughs> everything on this build, but if he does, I, that makes me feel more comfortable. So when he said, I don't want to do the roof, I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> then I know it's kind of time to be like, all right. Yeah. So it's Labor Day weekend this weekend. You probably won't see this for uh, a few weeks. Two months. A couple months, maybe. <laughs> 
And uh, they're going to be up all weekend through Monday. And we didn't get quite as far as we wanted. We had some issues yesterday. Sarah ran into getting a flat tire as she was on her trip into town to get the stove flashing. And I just wasn't able to finish up uh, everything without an extra hand. So mm -hmm. our first priorities this morning are to finish up some of that stuff. Yep. And then we can start laying sheathing and get getting to work on the roof. Yeah, I'm really excited to see it come together. So we'll take you guys along for the ride. been a whirlwind of a morning and I feel like we've only gone for two hours but it feels like it's already been an eight hour like moment in life. <laughs> Kevin and Ruben are busy working on one side of our roof. We're gonna finish up the prow front here, finish framing it because as you can see, well you can't really see but there is no top to it yet so we need to finish that up. So Ryan and I are gonna finish that. They're gonna be starting the the sheathing of one portion of our roof and it's just a busy kind of chaotic but organized chaos morning. <laughs>
So not only did we rotate it like this, we rotate it like this. Okay. There we go. I wanted to take you guys into the yurt today because today's video is sponsored by Blue Eddy. If you didn't know, we're living in a yurt in a camper trailer while we're building our house. We love the space that the yurt offers our family and we heat the yurt with a pellet stove. However, in the winter, if we lose power, we may be out for days at a time and that leaves us scrambling to figure out how to heat the yurt. With the Blue Eddy portable power station, we're able to plug in the pellet stove quickly and keep our yurt warm and toasty. We actually had the chance to try out the Blue Eddy during a recent storm and it kept our pellet stove powered for five hours. It also kept our phones charged so we could stay up to date on PUD's progress as they work to restore power. The portable power station has multiple connections to power all of your devices, and its display allows you to see the precise input and output of all the devices you're powering. It also tells you how much battery life is left in the Blue Eddy. We normally charge our Blue Eddy with the wall port charging system, so it's always ready to go when we need it. But you can even charge the Blue Eddy with a portable solar panel so you can use it on the go. This product works great for our family, and if it sounds like something that would work great for yours, then check out the link in the description of our video. Now let's get back to building. Good morning. We are hard back at work on the roof. Ruben and Kevin yesterday worked from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and we plan to do the same today. They got half of the house sheathed with our plywood and today's goal is to get that half completely covered with the felt paper and tiled and then tomorrow we'll tackle the second half of the roof. Um, Ryan and I are kind of watching the progress and it's amazing. They're working so fast but we do think that we're gonna have to maybe do some tiling after they are done with this weekend because they are only here for one weekend. And I think Ryan and I are feeling a little bit more confident to put some of the tiling up, but we'll see how that all plays out and see what gets done. Because honestly, a lot of yesterday was set up and today we're all set up. Everybody's already going. It's only 8 a.m. and I feel like we're already making major progress. So Ryan and I's job today is bringing them their tiles, making sure that they have all their supplies. At the very front of the house, we still have an area where we have to build what's called the ladder. And it's just part of the roofing, um, it's just part of the roof support at that peak of the house. So that's one of Ryan and I's goal to get that totally figured out today, set up. So then we have the plywood going all the way. Cause one thing Ryan and I don't want to do is do the plywood up there. I don't do well when I'm up high with heavy stuff. So the idea of doing that sounds really scary with both of us. Cause I don't think I would be the best help, but Anything else where it's not so much heaviness, I think we could work on it together and figure it out. So we'll take you along for the ride today and keep showing you the progress as we roof our house. They are the best. <laughs> the rafter probably went in a little bit, so I'm just having okay. to shave off a bit. Okay. Are you guys gonna want these up on the roof or on the platform?
What have you guys thought about doing this 12-12 roof? Pretty intense. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. When we were Sometimes. up in the man lift looking at you guys, I was like, that is so steep. You guys have been champs. We have Kevin and Ruben here for one more day with us and they've got as far as they can get on the north side of the roof. They've got about 80% of the roof completely done, shingles all the way. Uh, we still have a little bit of framing to do on the prow before they could finish all that up. So they've moved over to the other side. Yep. Sarah is up in the, the basket behind me, uh, helping the guys get more of the sheathing. And I have to go up and put in blocking at the ridge before they put the sheathing up there because if we wait until after the sheathing's up, it'll be almost impossible to get in. So she's helping the guys with the sheathing and I'm on my way to go finish with blocking. It's a busy day here on the cabin build. Do you want another one of those ladders made? Yeah, please. Anything else you need brought up? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. We're back to the build. The guys that came to do our roofing, Kevin and Ruben, were here for a three day weekend and we took two days off to just like much needed come back to life but we wanted to give you guys a quick recap of what it was like uh working with two people who work in construction for their career and just kind of what they got done and our experience before we close out this episode so all right let's see <laughs> big takeaways i was going to ask ryan questions but i didn't prepare any so one thing that I was blown away by was their speed and efficiency in what they do. Yeah. So we worked for three days and they got most of this side of the roof shingled and all done. And the other side is sheathed, as they say. So what do you think about how fast they were working and all that? Yeah, they, they, worked, they worked fast. I don't know that it was the speed that got me, it was the duration. Uh, they put in 12 to 14 hour days while they were here, which was just really impressive. Um, they just busted ass and got, got a lot done. And we were used to putting in six to eight hour days. Yeah. And so those, that duration of work, I mean, it's my hands are just killing me yeah. and muscles are still sore, even though we've taken two days off. Uh huh. And we weren't even climbing on the roof. They were doing all of that stuff, but we were schlepping all the materials to them and going as fast as we could. I know for me, I know Ryan said the speed didn't get him, but it got me a few times when we were working and Kevin was putting together the fascia and I would try to get involved and I finally was like, I'm just in the way and I'm a hazard. So I would just have to step back. But it was an amazing experience for sure. 
I do not want to build like that on our house build at all. If no, that's how we, we need were, to take it at our own, yeah, own pace. If we were trying to go at it that way, I wouldn't be in this house build situation yeah. anymore. Yeah, I agree. Um, but it it is nice that we got so much done so quickly, so quickly. and it's you know we're so much closer to being dried in now. So what what did what did we get done? Like what what all happened over the weekend? The goal was to get all the roof done over the three day period, but we we didn't have all of our prep work done we didn't have the fascias on we didn't even have the prow front completed mm -hmm. when they were here so there were a, a number of things that they that we didn't have done that they had to help us out with instead of focusing on the roofing portion and i think if we would have had all that done they would have been able to finish the roof i have no doubt that they would have finished it if we would have had that done but it was, you know, we, me and Ryan were talking about it over the past two days where we took a day off. And I was like, gosh, do you think we should have worked harder getting up to them coming so we would have gotten it done? And I don't, I honestly just don't think we, don't could, think we have. could have. Yeah. And it, it was definitely, that was part of the struggle when they were there, that we were having to try to do things that are new to us. Because we don't know about building a house. We're learning every single step as we go. Yep. And... We and were especially having to, things like roofing. Yeah, yeah, and we were having to figure out things like on the prow front and on the ladder on the, the roof. Compound angles. And, and we don't know how to do that. And normally we're able to sit and take our time and figure it out. But with roofers here, we were like, it was a lot of stress. And it was it, it was just hard. Yeah. But it it I was amazed. I it, The guys are super, they're just super awesome, great to work with. Um, and they will be back, or at least one will be back this following weekend for us to finish the roof. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next episode. While, while the guys were here, they were able to get about 80% of the front side of the house here uh, sheeted, felted, and shingled. And on the other side, they were able to get about the same amount done, just sheeted. And they got a couple rows of felt and no shingles down yet. So the, uh, the, a lot of the prep work is done so that we can finish up um, in probably another, another day session. But yeah, they, they really kicked some up. Yeah. So that's where we're going to leave you for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you don't miss a moment of the build. See Bye. ya. <laughs>